Um, it's like they're playing a 3-3-4 uh, formation in goal. We've got Mr. Roach in the back. Gabara, Sayi, Haupt and Hansen. Across the middle, Pelez, Vicente and Carrion. And up front, Varela, Diacate and Jolly Kerr. Now, Diacate, of course, is uh, going up, up against Marcus Nagelstadt. He's the nearest person to Marcus Nagelstadt for the Golden Boot. He's on 12 goals. Uh, Mar Marcus here is on 17, so unless... Mr. Dia Carter gets five tonight. <laughs> Marks is in a good shape. Um, so there's your line up on the team. Uh, quick say hello to the folks watching in uh, San Diego. Glad you're joining us two at four o'clock in the afternoon your time. And uh, great to have you along. And I'll give you Chattanooga in a moment. We have kicked off from center circle yeah. and are underway. And we are fortunate that... Uh, Marcus Nagelstadt down yep. there. Early on, that's not good. No, it's uh, <laughs> the reason why you bought a ticket, right? <laughs> it seems to go. Uh, yeah. Let me give you Jack News lineup while this is going on. Uh, Alex Brath is getting the, the corner set up. We got Kevin Gonzalez in goal across the back. We got Travis Ward, Frankie Martinez, Nick Spielman, and Colin Stripling in the middle. Ian Serra, Richard Dixon, our captain, and Alex McGrath, who's on that corner right now. Up front, Taylor Gray, 22, 99, Marcus Nagelstadt, and Brett Jones, number 20. Here's the inside the minute corner. And that crossed the line. No. Yes, that crossed the line. It's a goal. Some confusion in the box, but that one crossed the line. 1 0 Chattanooga in the second minute. <laughs> now, a corner early in this match, and then a header off the far post. Yeah, the lines and put his flag up. There was quick. Everybody's a little bit uh, wrong footed there, but that one went in. Looks like Brett Jones is the man with the goal. Let's have a look at this again. Watch it quickly. Yeah, Brett Jones oh, yeah. pushes it over the line. That's good enough. All right, 1-0 Chattanooga. Brett Jones, second minute. Talked about an early lead, Todd. We were saying about both teams going for it. <laughs> and, and they have. That, that, that early corner, uh, an award of some aggressive play. Yep. And Chattanooga takes advantage of it. I thought from up here, and I'm glad that you were able to see it differently, I thought it was a a header, but it was Brent Jones going on down on one knee almost, almost. to get his foot on it, right? Absolutely. He proposed the ball, and the ball accepted yeah. it in the back of the net. How about that? <laughs> little little uh, kneel kick there, and there's Ooh. a collision there again. This and is going to be physical, like the last no. game. Very interesting. If we came in late to the game, folks, ready to miss the first goal. Chattanooga one up. So folks still coming into the stadium and uh, missed part of the action. They'd be like, what, 1-0? Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You refer, you refer to that last game. We had a red card, six yellow cards. Yep. Yeah, that last game, the uh, and I drew a watch in that game and drew to the two commentators out there, and I was like, it's like this referee's got a new set of cards and he wants to show them off. <laughs> Everybody and his dog got a card in that game. <laughs> Take it away in the corner. Well, you know, you get those cards and you spend all day laminating them. I guess you want you yeah, want to use them, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, we'll have to discuss the left region in the course <laughs> of this game tonight. That's always hope we don't have to talk about him. He's done a good job. We don't mention him. He did a good job. <laughs> yeah, it's when you're talking about them that uh, yeah, you don't. That's want to that's that. unfortunate. You want to discuss the game? You really do. That's what people come to watch, not the referee. It's like, uh, you can feel the high energy already in this match between Absolutely. these two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Colin Stripling is that one slip out for a throw in. So, uh, yeah, both, both teams, they said, maybe a little bit tense, as we were talking about earlier. And just uh, yeah, catch your breath, take your place, concentrate. So. Albion looking for a sustained effort here, it looks like. But well, we know they can do it. We've we watched the last couple of games. They, yeah, putting three past Syracuse means they've got the, the power and the skill. So we'll have to wait and see how Chattanooga control that and what San Diego do to you know, take care of Chattanooga. So, yeah, I mean, two teams that are well poised, close to each other on the table. So uh, both of them know there's quite a bit of stake. So, yeah, great game coming on. I've said before, all games are important. Not all games are big. This one seems to meet the criteria for being both big and important. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not sure if I see a dominant side of possession at all this entire evening. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you want to play possession, I presume. Well, that's Rod's plan, is mm -hmm. if you've got the ball, they can't score. So that would make perfect sense. So Chattanooga focusing that more this season. Um, and we saw that a lot too in the game on Saturday against Flower City, where they just hung on to the ball and parked the bus and made it very hard for us to get, get past them. So I think Albion will play a little more of an open, open game. That's what they always how they play down there. They're, they're pressing a little tighter, which is, is good too for the game. So. Travis Ward all over this. <laughs> Trying to keep control. That's good. Back to Frankie. Nice tactical Same display by. This is again is yeah. the, that one touch shocker they work on too. Yeah, it'll move fast tonight, right? Oh yeah, you, I think so. Don't think so. you don't yeah. want to be caught flat-footed this evening? Yeah. Anticipating it's a, it's a hitch. A, it's a cool night. The weather, the weather's kind. Mm -hmm. It's like 64 degrees, so it's really quite nice for soccer. And uh, there'll be no hesitation. Nobody being you. Know, too hot tonight, there'll be just the right temperature of playing a good game of soccer. A bit cold for the fans, but hey, you know. <laughs> <laughs> can't, can't win them all. <laughs> so. I've said it before, that's that's their problem down there. Absolutely, that's, <laughs> why, that's why they have. That's why they serve beer. <laughs> Keep them warm. <laughs> so. Chattanooga cautious in their approach here. Yeah. And in no hurry to make a mistake. Exactly. Well, that's it. I think Albion will punish them if they do something silly. So you have to be aware of that. I'm going to do a quick shout out to the uh, folks in the Cal in, uh, California. Oh, wait a minute. You can never. Ah, Brett Jones didn't quite make it. Shout out to my fellow commentators out in uh, San Diego, Hector de Rio and Murray Beth Samood with the blue hair. Enjoyed your commentary last time, guys. I'm sure you're watching this. So uh, thanks for tuning in at uh, a weird time for you guys. Hope you enjoy the game. I'll be on with a few more games left on their schedule as opposed to Chattanooga's limited number. Yeah, that, that's absolutely right. Mm -hmm. The uh, the next league play we've got is in the middle of October. We go to Michigan Stars once again for the fourth time this season. Uh, and then our league play is done. This is the last home game in the NISA League. You're going to see this season, not the last game we'll play here, but the last NISA League game. Uh, we've got a friendly cup next weekend, and uh, that'll be interesting too. We've got uh, the MLS Next development team from Charlotte FC, the newest MLS team over in North Carolina, coming to play a friendly game next Saturday at 7.30. That should be fun. And then, of course, hopefully there are some playoff games here too, so we're bringing you all those. Shot charge down there, and again, and... Oh, good shot, right in the corner. Do we not say they were dangerous? They are very dangerous, as you can see that one. Come off the foot to tie this here in the seventh minute. Yep. A little so. bit of pressure there from Albion. Made it pay off in the end. The ball was bobbling around a bit. But Pelez sticks it in the back of the net and makes it one apiece. In the uh, ninth minute. Let's see that again. Yep, slides it into the corner. Kevin Gonzalez is a little bit unsighted there and just can't believe it got past him. It did, yeah, one apiece. Like I said, that's their first shot on goal. One shot, one, one goal. So, give you one of those games, Todd. <laughs> and that's good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, both, both goals so far tonight have been contested and have required quite a bit of... Um, Offen offensive ingenuity, if you will. Right, right. And there's a lot of pressure there now being the build up, too. They were trying to come through the defense down Route 1, then the ball deflected, and Pelez got the shot, saw the gap, and just enough to slot it into the corner of the net. So, one apiece, two goals before 10 minutes is up. Well, I think that certainly does send a message. There'll be no sitting on any leads tonight. Right. The 
these teams off to a pretty quick start. You couldn't gotten any quicker than maybe Chattanooga's goal coming in that, <laughs> well, that well, second was, minute. Well, yeah, yeah. We, we were still doing the announcements and they already scored a goal. <laughs> they had the corner <laughs> kick at 40 seconds. And Chattanooga in the home, uh, light blue, back on the defense again. Nice toss there foul into the box. Him, yeah, foul in the box there. A bit too much pushing for the referee's wife. keeper. <laughs> Nagel's dad <laughs> trying to yeah. put on a, just mm -hmm. hoping for a mistake, right? Yeah, putting the pressure on. I, I mean, think that's, that's how you do it. If I, if I run at you, you might turn yeah. it over. Let him know you're there. And Mark is good at that. We know he is. They're checking on Gray over there, and the official is comfortable with the fact, the referee is comfortable with the fact that he's okay. Taken away. Yeah, re yeah, retake that free kick. <laughs> These two teams have just been so steady all year long. Albion's gotten hotter, obviously, here at the end, but mm -hmm. even in watching some of their earlier matches, some of the losses. Right. You could just see that this was a very talented club. Left-handed kick across midfield. Boy, and every ball is contested, isn't it? I think so. It's given that way for the whole 90 minutes. They're going to wear themselves out tonight. Mm. Stripling trying to find Brett Jones. Here he comes. Great ball to Brett Jones. Can he get the cross in? Nagelstadt goes down the box. Can't get the shot away. Referee says no foul. Landing hard on that knee. Yeah. Nope. If we're stop it, Mark needs his attention. But uh, he didn't call a foul on that one. This is this is a tough surface. Yeah. To go down on. It can be. Yeah. Yeah. Quite the grimace. He has told the referee that he is he is okay. Okay. Yeah. Need a second. Just, yeah. This is obviously going to add some time to the clock. He needs a second. I think he'll be okay. So, Chattanooga's bench is pretty strong tonight. We've got uh, at Reddington on the bench, Greg Stratton, Luke Ferreira. Uh, we got uh, Jaime Hernandez. We got. Uh, Let's watch. Let's watch right here. Sorry. Yeah, sure. Watch yeah. right here and see how he goes well, down on the knee gets here. A, a, a clip on the, yeah. on the knee, doesn't he, from the defender? From, uh, from Gabara. Well, you so were in, you were down before the match. You did some investigating, and you yeah. turned up that uh, Chattanooga was going to be down one tonight. Right. Right. I think so. Yeah. So. Yeah. I think so. There's yeah, there's always somebody who's out, especially this time of the season. So, but uh, we've got a good lads. Good, good to say on the bench. It's pretty good. Corn with Nunez, Green, Rodriguez, and Jaimez are all on the bench as well. We've got some good, good, strong bench. So Rod's got plenty to call on if he needs it. Uh, and uh, Albion bought, they got uh, six, seven players on the bench, so they bought a full squad too. So uh, both teams, you know, traveled. Well, we didn't travel, but <laughs> Albion traveled with a good score. <laughs> Captain <laughs> pushes it back. That good good ball from Brett Jones to Serra. Serra keeps it in play, looks up. Who's he got open? 
across. Tries to unnuggle that, push it away. Well, one thing Albion did not forget to pack was their defense. No, they didn't, did they? No, they, you know, they say defense travels, and based mm -hmm. on what we've seen so far tonight, I'd agree with that. Mm -hmm. Yep. A goal in the second minute, a goal in the eighth minute. Chattanooga striking first. Ball. Can they make anything happen with it, though? <laughs> wow. <laughs> and that battle will... Carry on, really, <laughs> doing doing the dance and finally gets chopped down for his, uh, for his trouble. Referee gives him a foul. In uh, about 20 yards out, dangerous place. Could be a scoring opportunity here for, for Albion. setting the ball back at 10 yards. So Pelez and carry on over the ball. See which one of them takes the dead ball kick. But uh, yeah, they already camped out in Chattanooga's half right now. That's interesting. And a long shot, and that's a fabulous field goal straight into the <laughs> VIP area. Yeah, a long Probably drive. spilled a few drinks there. All right. Well, if you get your, <laughs> get your foot underneath it here on this turf, you're right. That's it. It, it right. goes straight up, yeah. That's all good. Chattanooga quickly taking goal kick. Back in the play. It feels like Albion has had the measure here in the last couple of minutes. Chattanooga will try That's to... Great ball. Look at Brett Jones running fast. Try to run through here. He's got support. Serra looking for McGrath. All the way across to, to, uh, to Ward. I've been breaking that attack down pretty well. Ward still fighting for it. Playing the wing back up there. Now I've been throwing on the far side. I think the Albion players have watched on Rob Broadcast Tom. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good view. Mm-hmm. Plus, we'll tell them what they're doing wrong or right. <laughs> tell us what we're doing wrong, <laughs> more likely. Yeah, but we have the mic. Oh, that's true. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. Right. I take your point. Yes, take your point. Yes, yes. Back in the center. Line marked quickly by three defenders, spraying it back to the near side. Could this be a problem? And maybe getting the numbers back and clearing them out for a throw in on the far side. Dia Carte giving him a hard time again. I think Albion has to be comfortable with the fact that they are moving down. They're gaining, mm -hmm. you know, pitch territory every time they seem to be with the ball on their foot. Right, yeah. They're not uh, getting stuck in the midfield. Mm -hmm. They're uh, getting, getting space and, oh, Richard Dixon has it a little bit hard there. Yeah, they get into that attacking third quickly. Yeah. Foul given away there. Again, another dangerous possession. Carry on on the receiving end of that one. Albion still looking for their first corner. But this is going to be from virtually. Yeah, this, is this isn't point blank, but this is close. 19, yep. 19, 19 and a half yards out. It's, yeah, it's scoring territory for a, a good dead ball specialist. So uh, let's see what they do again. Pleasant carry on. Gonzalez. Over it. The keeper telling his defense, yeah. aligning them where he wants them. Yep. Yeah. Kevin is placing his defense very careful. Shorts flapping in the wind. Here it comes. And again, it's uh, too high. Chattanooga to breathe again. Ball goes running out down Broad Street. And uh, on its holidays. There it goes. <laughs> Twenty minutes played, one all. Chattanooga and Albion San Diego. So uh, evenly matched. I think 
one of the challenges tonight refereeing this is that uh, it is going to be competitive and at times physical mm -hmm. and you certainly don't want to interfere with the rate of play or the no, nobody's going to hold back no. on this game tonight I can tell you that so it's it will be yeah unintentional or not there'll yeah. be some fouls and some, some contact <laughs> Dixon slows things down takes control of midfield like he does so well back to McGrath McGrath looking up gets it through he's got Gray on this side Gray and Jones have swapped wings too yes I love it when they do that Dre can't get through McGrath Nagels that shot oh McGrath shot charge down McGrath thinking she had a foul there but the referee says no and uh, Roach gathers the ball up back into play but good pressure from Chattanooga there both teams trying to go down the middle as well as the wings that was good good central attack yeah it certainly has been unpredictable so far mm -hmm. you're not gonna some teams have a tendency to lean to either the central or the wide attack. Right, now they, they switched it around yeah. already, and uh, that's good. Switching the, the, uh, the forwards is good, and that, that's uh, something I've always enjoyed seeing. Yep, foul given there. Richard Dixon gets a knock. Yep, first yellow card of the night. Uh, looks like, see that, was that Jolly Kirk? Yeah, number 17, it was. Yeah, first yellow card of the night to him in the uh, 22nd minute. Thank you, Martinez over the free kick. Chattanooga chance to reset. Waiting on the referee's whistle. There you see the, the player charged on your screen. Yep. See the high press too from uh, mm -hmm. Albion. They're not uh, not sitting back waiting for Chattanooga to come to them. They're both their forwards are going up. That's a good long ball. Brett Jones using his speed gets that through. Brilliant. McGrath gets on it. Gray's on the other side. Uh, just trickles out from oh. a goal kick. It was just a step too far. Boy, nice job of staying on sides. Nice, nice idea. Yeah. Yeah. Good Had feed and good passing. Gray on the other opposite wing. Right. He lurking for the rebound. To move on. out Cerro gets it but he is tackled and cannot do anything with it I think he was more surprised mm. than anything else that it came to yeah that, <laughs> uh, happened, like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that reaction time is really quick Cer <laughs> certainly was not expecting it for sure I agree with you yeah well we had all the fireworks in the first nine minutes since then certainly competitive yeah it's been good to watch both teams are uh, not afraid to attack, and oh, Sarah giving away a foul. One of those matches where you feel like anything at any time. Sure, absolutely. Right. It can be a deflection or a break right. or a bad bounce and something is a goal. So it's, and both teams will take advantage of that. somebody to feed it to. Dispossessed, yeah, definitely seeing Albion pressing. They're not uh, not waiting around. I like to see that too. Both teams are pressing pretty hard, which is good. You mentioned Gray mm -hmm. coming to the opposite wing. Yep. And your thoughts on that are? I think it's a good idea. You, you I like mean, <laughs> You know, who's got his speed and, yeah. you know, it's uh, your chest to defenders on both sides and there's something like somebody completely different shows up <laughs> and they're like, what's going on? <laughs> And Chattanooga have that flexibility, which is great. Stripping all the way back to KG. Clears that one. I'll be under. Um, holds it in with the header here. Yeah. Oh, the free 
close play here on the near side. Mm. Both teams using a limited amount of space to make progress. Play goes on, no foul. Probably Kerr thinking should have had a foul, but no. And then again, back to possession, making sure they just keep the ball. And it has not been made easy by Albion. It just likes not to press no, on no. that. It's been good. I mean, it's, uh. it's a good, you know, that's their good response to that, is to, to press and make people pass the ball quickly. And some people will not do well under pressure or pass the ball and make mistakes. Because Chattanooga do is the drill every week, twice a week, or three times a week. They just go back to it. So it's, you know, comfortable. So there it is again. Well, you feel like tonight as a goalkeeper, the one thing for certain that you have to do is when you put it back into play, mm -hmm. be decisive. Yep, be accurate. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just chuck it out and hope. It feels like there's so many players on either side that could step in front and intercept. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then take advantage of it and punish you. You don't want that. Stripping, feeding, Gray, great to Cerro. Cerro's got Jones open, back to Richard Dixon. Interesting how that offense seems to gravitate to whatever wing mm -hmm. Gray is on, right? It does, it's flexible. Yes. And that's, that's a really, really you know, makes it successful. Get my teeth in. <laughs> Taylor Gray, look at that speed. Comes around the tickets, push it over. Still get on the ball. But, uh, his speed is uh, testing Gibonga or something. Sarah back again. Keeping things moving nicely. Yep. And Gray got the overlap. There he is again. Cerro comes through. Looks up for the cross. Wins a corner. Captain steps in front to defend. Both these clubs possess a lot of experience. Can't argue with that. Yeah, these these are not <laughs> these. These are not rookies. No, are they? they are not. I wish one great ball there to McGrath. McGrath under control. Oh, and it just didn't take any time at all to figure out that these are two very athletically comparable clubs. Yep, definitely. Yeah, I mean this is the thing that's been we've seen throughout the whole season. The fitness has made a lot of yeah. difference too for a lot of these teams. And I believe that the speed is equal tonight as well. Mm -hmm. Now time for Gonzalez to worry a little bit as Albion approaches closer. Good spin on that one, make it stop. So that was a good good pass forward to put spin on it, and it stopped. And the attack could get hold of it. A lot of people whop those, and they go flying <laughs> off and just bounce out, out yeah. of the ground. But if you put a bit of backspin on it, it stops. Yeah. That's, that's, that's skillful to do that. You see those heavy balls, and they just run away from yeah, the... Yeah, every time they bounce yeah. off, especially off this surface here at Finley Stadium. They think that's a bit, bit higher. So... Uh, six-yard box but safely pushed away out for a throw on the far side Chattanooga really up against the byline here all the way through you know it seems like Chattanooga's offense has been one and done and and mm. Albion's has been more of a consistent press right. yep yep yeah Albion has certainly camped out almost yep. all the players in the last third of Chattanooga's half here they seem to be getting two three looks each time they cross well, we said at the start, they, you know, both teams want to win. Right. <laughs> so this is how it looks. And both teams want to win. They are camping out in the opposing penalty box. 
Good long ball, header across. Kevin Gonzalez gets two bites at it and gets it. And then gets uh, nibbled on by Diacate. I Referee has to come in and have a word. You know, and yeah. he's, all right, he it, got, he got a little nibble, didn't he? It did, but it'd be <laughs> difficult to assign blame to anybody on that. Yeah, I believe, and that's. Yeah, I think Kevin will not like that. Mm. Yeah, we'd be pretty vocal knowing Kevin. <laughs> I think you could make the statement this is uh, a game that has more on the line than any other that we've seen here. I think so, yes. This, this is why you have the playoffs. You condense mm -hmm. the, you know, the pressure into these games. It makes it so interesting. Um, but, yeah, the team start to realize now we, time's running out. We've got to, you know, <laughs> make our mark. Right. <laughs> um, or else we, uh, I can't see Albion not being in playoffs, but, I, you know, at the same time, they want to be in a better position. And they don't want to, you know, go down the down the pecking order behind Michigan Stars or anybody else. So this is this is one of those matches that every player. I know it creates anxiety for fans, mm -hmm. but every player wants to be in a position where, when they're playing a match, something matters. Sure. Right. And sure. You don't want a dead rubber, do you? Right. No. Uh, we'll, have a, we'll have a friend of the game on the weekend. We can, you know, get mm -hmm. back a bit and that and try different things then. But, uh, yeah, this is still the real deal. Still very much part of our knees to play. And, uh, and it tells you a lot about the character of the team because, like I said, we, we've got our playoff place done. You know, we're going to, you know, probably host a game here at Finley Stadium. So, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we've got one home playoff right. game for sure. So... But yeah, you still want more. You don't want to, you know, you want to make it as, as good as you can do for yourself. So both teams playing hard. Boy, there's not an Especially inch. Especially with the National League, we've got to right. think about travel and flights mm -hmm. and, you know, everything else. So you don't, you don't want to have to be on the road all the time. You'd like to if you can play at home. Right. Yeah, everybody wants to do that. One of the rare moments here in the last 10 minutes or so that Chattanooga's had some uncontested time in trying to build up here. Right. Yeah, just a little, little slacking off now being here and Chattanooga have a chance to do something. Right, the draft went through traffic, but uh, tried to come through one too many. Dear Carter, oh, it's <laughs> cleared it, cleared it into by stripling. Referee, I think, is, yeah, that's a yellow for Colin. So, stripping the first CFC player to get a card. He did uh, come in a little bit hard, hit the man with all the ball there. So. Let's see that again. Watch how physical. There's yeah. the aftermath. Yeah. yeah Trust yeah. us, the uh, the earthquake before did happen. Yeah, Colin, Colin's a big guy. I've, uh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Talked to him several times. Like he's a pretty big guy, so he's gonna. Yeah. If he hits you, you know about it. <laughs> Hang on, let's try that again. Here we go. So yeah. Whoa. Yeah. That's a pretty much shoulder charge. Yeah. So. All right. Let's get going. Marcus Nagel's about trying to find a gap in the middle here. He is under pressure again. Well, he will clearly need some help tonight. I think so. Right. McGrath is helping quite a bit. Yeah. Um, now Alex being the, the second goal scorer along with Taylor in the team is uh, yeah, well placed to take advantage of everything that comes his way. Battle on McGrath there, right in front of the Albion bench. Take him quickly.
team with a goal, each team with a yellow card so far. Like we said, evenly matched. Yeah, right? no, it's, uh, <laughs> and I, yeah, I appreciate the fact that it's been physical and the, again, the referees, I understand that they're out there with two very talented clubs and things are allowed to, are going to allow to be and can get close at times. Good interception there for Stripley to break that one up. That was, that was running through Diakase, so throw on the far side. I mean, yeah, you're absolutely right. It's the same as the, the game in San Diego. Both teams are physical. Yeah. Both teams are going for it. And I think when I you have, I wouldn't say take no prisoners, but they right. They'll, yeah, <laughs> they'll let them know they're there. I know in our conversations <laughs> with officials, you know, the one, the one mm -hmm. thing they d they don't want to allow is for somebody to gain an advantage through physical play in the sense that right. you've taken somebody off the ball. That one runs out for a corner to Chattanooga on the far side, number Chick-fil-A corner. Don't forget Chick-fil-A eat more chicken, as they like to say. So, so we'll see if Chattanooga can do some magic from their second corner of the game. Maybe we have a repeat of the first goal. Mm. I wouldn't mind that. Yeah, we, as we said earlier, their first corner came in the first minute of this match. Out Swing of the set. again from, oh, good clearance that time. And the Albi looking to break away. Get back into the attack. Boy, they build up fast. Yep. Yep, on the way back to Kevin Gonzalez. Space. Get the shot away, but get underneath that he knows he's yeah. upset with that. He should have done better. But, so. Sometimes anything in that direction. Sometimes. Right? Yeah. You're not going to get any closer, maybe. And there aren't any other options. Well, I think it's a little bit of frustration. Chatting have not had quite as many shots as they would have liked mm -hmm. to have this stage of the game. So maybe just like, let's get one away and see if we can. Yeah, maybe keep making make an error. Ah, that's a <laughs> bit too high. <laughs> bit too. Gabara's tall, but he's not that tall. <laughs> Trying to throw here. And Colin Stripping will take it. Being very patient here. And it didn't matter much. Right, right. Chance to run the alley here. Yep, the Akali looking to come in and cut in. Look for support though, has he got support? Yes he does. About a month ago, when you could have circled this this match on the calendar and said mm -hmm. uh, one not to miss, right? All right. Yeah, even a weekday game, right? Still want to yep. catch it. And we've had a lot of good games on weekday nights yeah. too. That parent-teacher conference can wait. Uh, I think <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, I'll bring the teacher there if I have go. to. Bring but the teacher and buy the beer, and they probably enjoy that. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Actually, probably here on Saturday we had the, uh, the Hero Appreciation Night and there were a few teachers here then, but yeah, yeah, I'm sure I'd rather miss them. Mark homework. <laughs> I know I would. <laughs> Great long ball, Kevin's on yeah. the that. Oh, that's safe. So. Coming in at the 40th minute of the first half here on 11 Sports. Still one apiece. Chattanooga with the first goal. Albion San Diego with an answer on the ninth minute after Chattanooga score on the second. And so one apiece. As you can see, tightly contested pretty well matched so we're coming in towards half time 
in the next five minutes. Shouldn't be too much extra time as uh, not many stoppages. No, we saw Nagel's dad go down for, yeah. I don't think, more than two minutes. Not really. Uh, we saw Carry On go down, but again, nobody's really been, you know, dragging the time out, which is good. Nobody wants to come off the pitch tonight. Oh, no. Right? I mean, oh, this no. is just one of those you you may take a while to collect yourself, but. Sure, absolutely. So as we get close to the uh, to half time, usually we talk about the calls of the night. Tonight we have all the uh, local non-profits. We have 14 of them we've supported during the season. They're all here tonight down in the concourse. So rather than picking up one non-profit to be our uh, our calls of the night, we have 14 of them. They're all here. Thanks for their support during the season that we can support you. And that's always good to do too. And uh, at the start of the second half, I have a special guest coming in to talk to us. Um, from down on the field, so uh, you want to miss that. So make sure you're back quickly after half time and don't uh, dawdle over your half time break. And uh, I'll reveal the special guest then. Oh, Coy. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. All right. You know me, Todd. <laughs> I'm, I'm figuring it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this building into an opportunity? This is very nice built in Chattanooga. Very patient. There's the ball coming in. Shot there, stripling all the way back. We shoot no gray. You now just about all the, oh, nearly all the Albion players back in the 18-yard box. Taylor Gray wins a corner. Gabara has to push it away, and uh, now it's Jack Newell's turn to put the pressure on and put Albion back in their 18-yard box. Third corner of the night. Yep, another Chick-fil-A corner. Once again, McGrath and Cerro over the uh, over the corner. Are we going to play short or are we going to play long? Long has worked pretty well this game. It's long. Uh, Chattanooga hoping to hold it in, but yep. instead we'll have to possession and build back out again with whatever little time left is remaining. Quick offensive start and a lot of aggressive play ever since. There have been times though since the 10 minute mark where this could have turned 63 degrees, I only dropped a degree since we started. But the wind isn't quite strong. It was quite a bit of a gusty wind, wasn't there, earlier? Felt like it. And it's, yeah. uh, there are times it has shifted tonight. Well, the flags are moving pretty yeah. well down there, so that's good. Had that's a good the, uh, certainly yeah. have had a good swirl of it tonight. Absolutely. It's a great, I say, good temperature for soccer. So. Open pitch here. It's Gray looking for a slot. Well, he has been frustrated tonight. Yeah, yeah good interception there from players, but nevertheless, yeah, Chattanooga need to, uh, make sure these passes are all counting, and Gray, yeah, <laughs> sends his man down. <laughs> what did we just say about being frustrated, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. That was it. So, uh, You know, we've we've seen him play before. Sometimes he's used to blowing by people, mm -hmm. and, and tonight it's uh, that's not coming. He's having to work a little hard. Right. Yeah, Taylor's speed is, is uh, usually his asset, and his great skills, but uh, tonight, yeah, he's, like I said, I'll be in the match team, which is nice to see somebody's doing that, and uh, he's going to have to think of a different way of doing it. I think so that's, uh, that's a measure of a good sportsman, too, they can find different ways to achieve what they want to do. I think for Albion, Cabrera's best defense has come before Gray has the ball, and just kind of positioning himself in a good spot, taking away any angles.
chance here. Good push back from Chattanooga. Chance again. Deep cross. And uh, calmly taken down by Richard Dixon. Extra two minutes have been added. Okay. Two minutes is a good chance for one of these teams yeah. to maybe get a goal before they go into the locker room. Can't go in a corner, corner throw on the far side. He's going to make a run. <laughs> He's still right. ducking and diving. Takes yeah. two to get the ball off him, though, each time. Wins that one. Then he gets fouled back for his trouble. Referee doesn't see anything wrong with that. And let's play go on. Well, that is difficult when it's three on one. It's never easy. No, well, I, can't, I can't do no. one on one. So <laughs> three must be impossible. So <laughs> and we saw that second defender come in from nowhere right and then the third mm -hmm. yep they're yeah. all they're all looking to they're, help they're very quick to, yeah. to get in to support each other that's good teamwork and that's something we see Chattanooga do so of course Albion are going to do it too 30 seconds of this extra time to go everybody's right in the corner <laughs> Dixon got in there to finally yeah. Chattanooga throw not a lot of time left before the whistle blows let's see what uh, if Chattanooga just run the clock down they actually make a play that's it so that's your first half folks one apiece Chattanooga and Albion San Diego all the action in the first 10 minutes you came in late sorry you missed it so uh, two interesting goals one yellow card each one goal each and uh, we'll take a 15 minute break go and uh, put the kettle on and have a cuppa and then we'll be back in 15 minutes with our special guest and we'll bring you the second half here live on 11 Sports. Don't go away. Welcome back to the second half of Chattanooga FC against Albion San Diego. Brought to you live from beautiful Finley Stadium here in Chattanooga on 11 Sports. Great to have you back with us for this second half of the game on a school night. So thank you for joining us on a Wednesday. It's one apiece. One goal each. If you missed the first 10 minutes, you've missed the goals. First goal in two minutes. Uh, Brett Jones touching one into the back of the net and then... Albion equalising, Pelez equalising in the ninth minute with a great strike from just outside the box. So looking forward to the second half. Both teams out the locker room are ready to go. Chattanooga just uh, doing their quick team talk. And then they'll be ready to get going. I've got a special guest here tonight too. Somebody you all know you have seen play on this very field. It is our wonderful number two, Tate Robertson. Hey, Tate. Simon, how are you? Fine, sir. It's great to have you here. It's an absolute pleasure to have somebody who's been on the field up here and come and talk to the fans at home. We really appreciate that, sir. So, uh, how does it feel watching the game when you're not playing? It must be awful. Yeah, it's a, it's a little different feeling. Yeah, I um, bet. Do you want to be down there? I wish I was playing. Yeah. I wish you were. <laughs> yeah. Not because the guys are bad, but just because yeah, I like watching yeah. you play. So, your position is, is nominally left back, but you're a wing back as well because you come flying up the wing a lot, don't you? Yeah, yeah. So, um, tell me about what you what you do during the game. Um, I find myself in a lot of one on one defensive situations against their uh, their wingers and forwards so I try to obviously play good defense and and try to help the guys attack as well okay uh, okay yeah I mean we, we love watching you fly up the wings and uh, cross balls in and you know threaten defenders and that's always good stuff and we were talking earlier in the first half about the guys changing between Brett Jones and Taylor Gray switching positions on the wings and just surprising the, the defenders too. Mm. So um, so you're in your second season here? Yep. You're liking it, I can tell? Yeah. Good. So good. far okay. so good, I, well, I can't complain. Can't complain, that's always good to hear. So what were you do? tell us a bit about your career before you came to Chattanooga. So uh, I'm originally from Springfield, Ohio, and mm -hmm. um, I played college ball in Bowling Green okay. University, which is with uh, Northern Ohio, so kind of stayed in Ohio my whole life, and and got lucky enough to come here after a season at Stumptown just before COVID. So kind of mm -hmm. 
ruined that, but now that I found myself in Chattanooga, and uh, like, like I said, I can't complain. I like it a lot. Yep, a lot of people come here, and uh, they really seem to enjoy it, and they seem to settle down well here, and we're lucky. We've you know, good, good fan base and good town, so it really helps Absolutely. them too. It, it, it draws a lot of people, and people like you know Juan and Andes who stayed it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so there's something, something going on good here. Agreed. <laughs> well, I could do like a bottle it if I could, but I can't. So. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So um, when you're not playing soccer, what do you do? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, rest. Uh, I <laughs> yeah, rest. <laughs> I play a lot of golf. Oh, okay. Uh, when I can, so that's cool. that's probably. A Where do you play? The Bear Trace or? Um, oh, I've I played Harrison Bay Bear yeah. Trace. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, great course. It is a great course. Uh, got a foul there. The referee's given a corner. Thank goodness, not yeah, a penalty. And I'll be in appealing for a penalty there. So that's cool. So, all right, and you hang out with the other guys, obviously from the team. Oh, yeah. I know you guys are pretty much a good team off the field as well. Sure. And that really helps build that, that team yeah, mentality. Yeah, it does, and, and I think that's kind of why we're in the place we're in. Mm -hmm. right? I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think a lot of teams. You see, especially with the pros, they just go off in different directions in their sports cars. You know, yeah, you know, you'll, yeah. Be, you'll be together. Yeah, we're <laughs> everyone on this team is pretty together, so it makes it makes playing a lot easier. Sure, sure, absolutely. It's an in swinger, but pushed away. That's good. Still not clear though. So, what would you be saying to the guys who are down there now, defending a corner? Um, just let's make sure we not lose it, don't lose our guy, and and be first to the ball. Right. 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 As long as as long as your guy doesn't header the ball, then they're not going to score. Right, right, absolutely. So what's been your best game this season, Tate? You've obviously played in all of them. Which one have you oh enjoyed geez. the most? <laughs> Is there one? <laughs> um, that's a tough one. I don't know if there's one. I, I just enjoy playing in, at Finley in front mm -hmm. of these fans. It's, it's, okay. it's nice to play in, in front of a full stadium that's, that's loud and energetic. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, I've talked to some of the other guys from Stump Tones who called and Alex said the same thing. They like the atmosphere here. Yeah, the atmosphere. And, and the Taylor said that too. It's definitely the best atmosphere in the league, um, pretty handily. So it, it makes home games quite a lot better than, than mm -hmm. away games. If sure, sure. Yeah, and uh, I've always asked everybody this question too who's come up and talked to me. I said, when you're in the, in the game, do you hear the fans or do you just like in the zone? Um, yeah, you hear them. It, if if you're good at toning them out, you you tone them out. But um, it's kind of just background noise, if if that makes sense. You don't hear mm. exactly. Oh, at least for me, I don't hear exactly what they're saying. Right, right, right. So that well, probably just as well. Some of the stuff isn't really suitable for delicate yeah. ears. <laughs> yeah, that's that's also true. Well, I, I started off down there in 2009, so okay. I, I, I know all about. Yeah, I've been here since first game. I can't so like repeat what they're I can't repeat that on the family <laughs> broadcast like yeah. this, but. <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, it is a lot of fun, and it's it's a great place to be. Um, so it's, it's one of the things that makes makes the team popular. Um, and yeah, a lot of the, the, the fans do reach out to the players and make friends, and that's great too. So you're very, you know, it's very homey. Very, it is, isn't it? Yeah, and not, not in a um, a cheesy way, in, in a in a good way. No, it's it's kind of it's hard to explain, but you you understand once you're here. Yeah, yeah, I think um, that that's true. Oh, that's a good interception there, from Travis. Go on. So. Um, so obviously, outside of here, do you follow a team? Or do you follow an MLS team or a British um, team? Or? Yeah, Columbus Crew, and, okay. and since I'm from that area. Right, and right. And uh, Chelsea in England. Chelsea, yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. So that's well, never mind. controversial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so. all good. Uh, yeah, I always always give people a hard time about their British teams. Cause yeah. <laughs> being British myself, I'll give you a hard time yeah. about that. Whatever you say, it doesn't matter what team you say, I'll give you a hard time. Yeah. So <laughs> M M McGrath would be the same way then. Oh, we, well, I talk to Alex about it all the time, and we, we, yeah, we, we give each other grief about yeah. our teams all the time. So <laughs> it's just That's what we do. It's part of uh, it. <laughs> cool. So, um, I say, your second season here, you, oh, hopefully you'll be here again next year because the team's going places, and it's, it's a great place to be. And. Uh, so, and the off-season's coming up. Do you have plans for the off-season, or are you just going to keep playing until they tell you to stop? <laughs> yeah, that's, I mean, yeah, I'm going to play until they tell me to stop, and then when they stop, I'm going to take some time probably to myself and just mm -hmm. hang out, chill with family and friends, and yeah. yeah. kind of recharge the batteries. Sure. Um, it's, been, it's, been a long, it's been a long season, so, but uh, we got another month to go, and we need to finish it out strong. Yeah, yeah. So that's, uh, the, the off-season's definitely on the back burner. Right, it's gone fast actually. Yeah, we were here in April, and March, and we were like, "Oh, it's yeah, yeah, always games to go." And we're like, "Wait a minute, they're all gone." Yeah, <laughs> I mean, at the beginning, you looked at the schedule, and God, there's a ton of games. Yeah, and right. And right. now we have 
three or four more to exactly. More well, to we've got the friendly, then we've got Michigan Stars, and then we've got you know players. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, there's there's lots, still lots to do. So that's really great. Most so important time. Absolutely, it's this is it, and I think this is what we're seeing in a lot of these games here. The other teams realizing we've got to perform. We've got to you know we have three points mm -hmm. and settle for one or zero. We've got to get three points. So. Yes, sir. And we were talking about in the first half before you came up. So, so both teams, Chattanooga and Albion, are both <laughs> trying to do the same thing. So how does this one, I mean, you've watched it, obviously. How does this compare to the game when we played Albion in California? Um, Pretty similar, actually. I mean, th both teams are getting some decent chances. It's Ooh. a foul. Um, yeah, both teams are getting all right chances, and it's, it's kind of back and forth. And mm -hmm. I mean, they have... They have some good attacking guys, and I mean, yeah. we, so do we. So it, it kind of evens out. And right, right. Well, they do. Uh, we, we were saying, me and Top were saying in the first half, it's fairly evenly matched. Um, and we have a lot of proven scorers on both sides. Marcus with his, you know, quest for the golden boot. Yeah. And then Dia Carte there, centre forward, who's the next man up, who's uh, five goals behind him. So we've yeah. got two of the top scorers in Nisa on the field. right here now. <laughs> yeah. So it's, uh, yeah, it's interesting to see. Come on, Ian, have a go. Oh, could not get that ball through that Alex to the touching. But, uh, been a lot of good play. We're looking at that. That's we, we, we comment on during the game is the, the passing, playing the triangles, which I know is what you do in practice. Mm -hmm. So that's... What else do you do in practice that comes through into the game? Is that, I mean, that you can tell me about. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you kind of see it right now, just just the possession and, and the pressing. Mm -hmm. um, definitely staples of, of what we want to do. and get the ball to our attacking guys like I just mentioned and and run off them and try mm -hmm. to score as many goals as we can obviously that's the right that's the goal to any game um, come on Nick <laughs> yeah, come on Nick you got after that after Frankie but yeah I yeah. mean we uh, just get the ball to, to the guys that make plays and yep. make things happen and sure. once if we do that and we do it well then we're going to be in a good spot a nice turn from Richard there. Yeah, Rich, play. Yeah, Isn't he's he great? Fantastic. <laughs> he really is. So. so yeah, wa watching the game from here looks different, as we said before you came on on the air. But yeah, different perspective for us as commentators yeah, and youth players. For sure. And obviously, I played in school and college and stuff, but not at your level. So yeah, I <laughs> so it's definitely higher. That's for sure. It feels like a video game almost. You can see everything. It is a bit. Yeah, it's a little bit remote in some ways, but it's you know. It's still, still very yeah, authentic it's and real. Um, it, it's a, a great perspective from watching it at Finley. And we really, really enjoy that. And we're glad we're here. Really lucky we have it. So it's very good. For sure. So it's really great. All right. Tate, thank you for coming on. It's great to have you here. And I'm, I'm glad you can come and see at least one game from up here. Yeah, this season, too. it's been an absolute pleasure to have you here. So Absolutely. I know people at home are really want to hear from the players they see every every week and they see you and you're very popular with the players yeah, yeah. folks they love seeing you play so it, it's been absolutely great so take thank you for your time so i'll let Simon. you go back to what you thank were doing you. yes sir and um i'll get todd back in a moment take robertson thank you have um, a great game this weekend yep appreciate it thanks <laughs> all right man thank you so much all right i hope you enjoyed talking to take there it's great to have one of the players here come say hi oh look at that Cut through from Max McGrath, nobody there to touch it in. So we're still 10 minutes play gone, still fairly evenly matched between Ch uh, Chattanooga and Albion San Diego. And uh, no more goals, no more yellow cards, just good play, but uh, both teams trying to find that gap, trying to find the, the way through to get the goal. Take the way all the way back defending. I bet that was fun. Yes, absolutely. Right? Yeah, it's great to I mean talk to the players who are from the field <laughs> up here. Usually it's you know, we we're, we're so far yeah. from them, but I mean takes such a great, you know, interesting guy to talk to. And he's, you know. So and I you know, he's he's a wing you know, wing back like uh, you know. Right now, Travis and, and Colin are playing those those roles of running up all the way up the, the touchline. So, that so yeah, we'll see Tate play at the weekend, I'm sure, in the friendly. So, you can tell he just hates not being able to play. It's <laughs> uh, all, all of them do. All no, the players right. the same way. They're so keen, which is great. So, that, uh, so right, first substitution is coming up for Albion. Let's see what they got coming on.
Number eight, Pooh Guy is waiting to come on. Chattanooga not making any subs. In fact, Chattanooga not actually anybody warming up on the bench either. Everybody's sitting tight right now. So Rod is not got somebody lined up to come on. One of the things I've noticed tonight as this has worn on is this Chattanooga club has done a better job of getting behind that that line of Albion mm -hmm. uh, than other teams have been able to accomplish. Right. That and Richard Dixon has raised his play. Nice. Richard's playing extremely <laughs> well. <laughs> yes, he's I mean, that's, that's saying something because Richard's always plays to such a high standard. So... Here comes the substitution, taking off. Carry on, coming off midfield. Number eight, Puga, comes on to take his place. So midfield for midfield, midfield swap there. No other changes at this point in the game as we come up to the first hour of play. Substitution sponsored by HHM. Need more time for your business? Come with HHM, is that right? Is that HHM? <laughs> Now there goes that bench you talked about. We can see him right there. Oh, well, there you go. They heard us. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, hey, the commentators are talking <laughs> about us. You better go and warm up. <laughs> oh, McGrath gets pulled down. yellow card there. Sponsored by Captain White and McGarvey. Got foul vision. Go to Captain White and McGarvey. Get it fixed. That was a really blatant foul there on the graph. <laughs> Not necessarily an unwise foul, but uh, yeah. yeah. He wasn't really doing anything dangerous. He right. was getting close, but he wasn't going to shoot. Let's see that again. Yeah, just unnecessary. Just touched him really and pulled him down. It's silly. So that's Vicente, 21, getting the yellow. Little Gray ducking and diving. Look at him go. Still got the ball. Keeps it in play. Just, yes. <laughs> he must drive defenders crackers. He's so good. <laughs> Again, some, somewhat of a frustrating outcome for him, though. Yes, yeah, it, it was after all that effort. I think both teams are feeling that a little bit. They're not getting the reward they expect from their efforts, so we may see some more scrappiness during the second half as this, this goes on. And it's just, you know... We've seen in almost every match as the game goes on, people get a little bit more, you know, what's it, angsty, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Give me a word, Todd. Come on. <laughs> I'm talking to myself. Give me a word. Give me a word. Come on. <laughs> well, I, you used all the ones I was going to use. Oh, all the long, all the long <laughs> ones. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Chattanooga, if they can make something happen here. Yeah? Feels like the pace of this match has not let up. Not at all. No. There's going to be some tired legs tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Got another chance here. Something I'm sure Chatton has drilled on in, in the uh, in training. Let's see if they can make something happen. A lot of activity. 
going to break him up there in the middle. There's a fine line between establishing position and too much. Loose ball, can't clear it. There it is. There's that Chattanooga goal that we were looking forward to. Well, he went down hard in the first and wasn't quite sure what his condition was going to be here in the second. And Nagel's dad is able to yep. send it home. Absolutely. And there you see the bench <laughs> out to congratulate him. So many times in this sport, it's the bounce and being in the right place at the right time. And even that. Yep is yep. a athletic ability. Sure, there he is, 99, Marcus Nagelstadt. I think that uh, keeps the golden boot pretty safely in his eyesight, in his sights <laughs> for that one. He's on 18 goals, so. That's the perfect time to get a goal with an hour of play as well. We got, you know, 30 minutes of action to come, but Chattanooga saying, hey, we're here. <laughs> yeah. Now, let's see what Albion do, how they come back on that. The forward gives them the lead, and Albion, I thought, responded very Look well that. the last time. Taylor Gray breaking away there, chesting that one down. Go, Look at him go. That's great. Great play. So runs out for a throw, but he's got <laughs> two people, one after the other. So, sorry, Todd, go ahead. What are you going to say? No, I just, uh, Albion responded um, to the last time they were down. And they've got to do it again. And usually I have found that uh, there's a lot of energy on both sides right now. Yep, yep. You know, those first couple of minutes after a goal has been scored seems to energize both, both squads. We question in the in the uh, first half when this happened. If anybody, Ooh. if anybody could sit back and block it in defensively. Yeah, absolutely. It'd be them, wouldn't it? And Sarah goes down, but he's up and about after that. Slightly a hard tackle. Pelé's <laughs> trying to get it going. Trying to got to clear this. Now I'll be hunting for that equalizer. Martinez, who's the way it's still not clear. There's a foul there. Graf pulled down. I think there's also a sense of sending a message these two teams could meet mm -hmm. again. That's right. quite likely, I think, as the playoffs go on. Right. Yeah, I, I can, you know, see that happening as we get towards the end of it, maybe in the semi-final or final even. And, and you don't want to get pushed around or you don't want to be marked as a team that can get pushed around. And Right. Still got some time to play, but I don't think either club would leave this match thinking that they owned somebody or dominated somebody. Oh uh, yeah, if if we had the uh, the stats they have in the pro games, they'd be they would be super close on possession and shots and passes. It'd be all yeah, very very close. So. Whoops! <laughs> That's uh, sometimes that clumsy. Yeah, yeah, sometimes you get out of position and yeah. it's costly. Yeah, yeah a a whoops there from Brett. Never mind. <laughs> it's all good.
break on. Can Chattanooga get something to happen here? Oop, not quite. <laughs> there are there have been several opportunistic yeah. takeaways in this and match. Look at each time yeah. I've been reading the passes very yeah. well indeed. Oh, and a foul given over Richard Dixon. Referee having a word, but not putting the cards out. That wasn't really a, that kind of defence, but uh, yeah, we're going to see more of that. I think you call it friction as the team mm -hmm. run against each other quite a lot. <laughs> well, and when you have, and certainly when you have control of the ball, if you focus in on just the one defender, you can be assured that somebody from behind is coming. Yeah, I mean, almost immediately, you've got to be like one touch. You'll be so quick on this. These are clearly two very well coached clubs. Mm hmm. Long shot and field goal. Mm. Just trying to take a piece off the corner there, I huh? I think so. Kevin had that one covered anyway. He's going the right direction. So, all right, goal kick to Chattanooga. Calf coming up on 70 minutes. 2-1 to Chattanooga. Lots of action, I think, to come in this game. I'm not going to mm. say not stop watching yeah. it because <laughs> I don't think that we should have a final score or not. But lots of action coming up. A little bit delay here. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Martinez. Brings it away. and bruises. Yeah, he's had game. a few, few yep. this year, isn't he? Uh, he's stretching it out. A bit of cramp too. I'll choose some more time. That goes down, foul. Now the break on McGrath. Pushed out of play, still keeps it in play. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Quite the collision there. That oh. were two big athletes yeah. colliding to the ground there. Oh, and there's a yellow card. Fortunate that they're both okay, and the post-discussion, rather than the play, draws yellow. the card. Yeah, yellow card on Hawks. They all have to there for that one. So third card of the night. For right, you'd have a hard time blaming him. Albion. He must, yeah. have, must have crossed the line in his critique it, of the it no may call. Be. Yes, it may yeah. be the... The commentary rather yeah. than the play. Yeah. <laughs> You're fine until you use the word you. Mm hmm. All right. Yeah. Alex McGrath, you see there. more litigious here in the second <laughs> half all of a sudden hasn't well, it it's got more talking yeah we've got yeah. a few more complaints filed here more, more talking let's play right. yeah <laughs> it seems like they've saved their opening remarks for later in the match here <laughs> well as, as both teams can see the clock too they know mm -hmm. the time's running down but uh, I wonder how it would be if the, if you played and the, the clocks were broken, they weren't working. <laughs> how they would, how the, how the players would respond, they wouldn't know they were right. know, pushed just, for time. Yep. They, they might play differently. I don't know. Good clearance there. Good, and again, possession there. Richard Dixon, solid keeping possession. Back to KG. Tease it up. 
Now the, the clock, sends it off. as you pointed out, seems to be master over all of us. Well, it does. Right? There's, yeah. a, there's yeah. always a clock ticking. Uh-huh. Somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. I know. That's a good pass. Now we'll start finding Gray. Now he's going to return the favour. No, nope, Gray's going on his own. Three on him. <laughs> Still yeah. keeps the ball. There's that back oh. support that we talked about. And there's about. a loose ball after <laughs> the end of that. Now of course that cleans up. See a little more confidence in Chattanooga's play now, too, after that goal. It looks a little body language is a bit different. Absolutely. There's the manager. <laughs> Underwood getting a getting a hug. <laughs> but Vicente is like, oh thanks. <laughs> and there's the other manager there in your lower right yeah, hand screen. That doesn't do your heart well good to see a manager in jacket and tie. It does. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm sure it all dress up properly, but you know. That's the fashion. <laughs> it's the <laughs> Look right. good, play good, or well, coach that, good. That's it. It's, yeah. It does. It, what do you wear can affect how right. you how you feel about the yeah. game. So, so, yeah. Don't say it too well. That's not making us wear a coat and tie for the broadcast. <laughs> Being the men in blazers <laughs> thing. So, but watch out. It almost happened once. So, <laughs> oh, what a great touch! What a great touch! Now, Brett Jones. Taylor Gray. He's got a little bit in the box. Not much. That one goes out. No, nope, wins the corner. Off the defender. Why in Chattanooga oh, went? Hansen. Good. They good. went center attack in a hurry, yeah. didn't they? It's almost yeah. as if you understand that maybe the the wings you don't have uh, maybe the access or the angle that you'd like access to the right to the goal. Because sometimes the best thing you can do though is to win a corner. Yeah, and that that's fine. That's everyone does that. I do feel uh, at times like the speed on the sides on the wings has been the neutralizer for both defensive squads. Right, quickly taking corner from the Chick-fil-A corner, Chattanooga popping it in the box. There's a header. Oh, nice job to hold that down. By McGrath, but still keeping possession. Cerro. Oh, oh, too strong on that one. The stripling uh, to hold it. <laughs> if stripling just could have that one, nudged that back to his right foot, right? Jamie, they keep the pressure on me. Keep keep a throw going in uh, on that side, and we've got a substitution coming up for Albion. Number twenty-one coming on for number thirty. So Vicente comes off. Number thirty comes on. You get. So two coming on, midfielder for midfielder. Throwing it back, played back and quickly out. Tested ball on the wings. It's just not a lot of, not a lot of free anything tonight. Not at the moment. It's it is so you know tight possession time. It, it's it's hard for the players to you know keep it flowing. Oh, that's a good cross. O2 making his mark with his first cross of the night. Just skims it past the far post. It's a goal kick to Chattanooga. 75 minutes played, 2-1. Chattanooga FC here at Finley Stadium on 11 Sports. Albion San Diego looking to get back into the game and get an equaliser. Chattanooga holding on though. of 
on ball collisions right there. We've mm -hmm. seen so many of those tonight. Yep. Well, it took Albion, what, about eight minutes in the first half after the goal scored against them. Mm -hmm. They haven't had the same. Right. Same, they've tried to make several attacks and several attempts, but nothing, uh, nothing concrete yet. Chattanooga, of course, back to the possession game. Hogan almost said that, and then Kevin kicked it out for the throw. <laughs> Actually, I should shut up, shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Still no subs for Chattanooga. Uh, the team are warming up. We may have Damon Rodriguez coming on. Let's see. Yeah, it does feel like they're gonna. Somebody's get yeah, fresh legs. They're Let's gonna. They're gonna is. milk everything they can out of these originals. One of the tougher coaches' decisions, and there's a whiff by McGrath. Mm -hmm. Good long throw, good clearance too. Back into the mix. That crack in the defence for a shot, and Chattanooga just blocking, blocking, blocking. Getting bodies in the way. Look at this! What a run! Wow! Yeah. He and Cerro go screaming down the pitch, and then here comes the yellow card, and that is. Hang on. That's on number four. I'll tell you what, Dixon has. I thought he already had a yellow card. Dixon has. He is down. He has been down, and now they have asked for help. Richard may have run out of steam, which is unusual. If that was number four, he's already had a yellow card. Well, Richard Dixon is, is uh, struggling with this one. So... A lot of coaching going on at the sidelines mm -hmm. well. And Rod and, uh, and Chris. Let's see what happened there, because Ian Sarah made a huge run, and then got dragged down. Hawk just pushes him away. <laughs> he gets a car for his troubles. Now, this is certainly going to add some time. Yeah, referee's talking to the manager of Albion. This gives Dixon some time to get to his feet. Chattanooga. Maybe get ready to make a substitution. Hernandez, number 30, ready to come on, but things have been delayed a bit. Maybe Ethan Corrin might get some playing time too. Let's see. Richard Dixon walking off with the trainer. He may have yeah. to be replaced. So we have to change substitution plans. Chattanooga has had the lead twice tonight. Albion has yet to get a goal advantage. Yep, Richard Dixon coming off there, folks. Big applause in the stadium. See if he's going to get treated or if he's going to get changed. No, nope. Brett Jones coming over. Is he going to come off? Take the free kick. Okay. <laughs> so Chattanooga will play with the man down temporarily. See if Richard will come back on. He should do. Made a tough stuff. Ward, Martinez, Ward again with a give and go. Cerro again, making use of himself. Now we're going to try and make the break. It's a long ball.
wrestling match over there. <laughs> Three defenders in the end. Yeah, for an Albion throw. Dangerous. Dangerous shot there, nudged yeah. away. Nick Spielman clears it, keeps it safe. Corner to Albion, the near side. And the clock ticks on, see what they do. They're aware they're running out of time to do something, mm -hmm. so see what they do. Swinger pushed away. Travis Ward chasing it down. He's got Nagels to open, but it runs away and out for the throw in to. Should be a throw at the CFC there, but it's okay. It's a throw at the Albion. All right. <laughs> Chattanooga still without that substitute, but they look like they're yeah getting close maybe here. They've signaled down to their. If we can get a break in play, they'll, yeah. they'll get him on. It's a long throw, headed in, pushed away. Shot charged down by Travis Ward. That one bounces out and should be a goal kick. No, okay, that's <laughs> corner. Now we can keep the pressure on here. Pelez over this one. Everybody in the box. Here it comes, swinging in again. Gonzalez punches it away. That one goes out. Throw to Albion. Pressure still on. Yeah, these are certainly the anxious moments. Yeah. The lead is precarious for sure against this Albion club, and now it looks like with another player another down. Player down. Looks yeah. like get. Here come the medical crew. Brett Jones down. Referee calling on the medical crew. Let's check Brett Jones is okay. Tell that the referee is adamant that he leave the field to play. Yeah. I think, this is, I think Brett's the one to be replaced. So that's usually what happens at this point. So he's having to come off the field to get treated, but he's you know, saying he's okay, so he's not going to be treated. Confused yet? Good. <laughs> Loose ball. Hooped away by Martinez. Now it's an Albion throw on the near side. Quickly taken. Now Chattanooga throw. One by Nagelstadt. Bouncing off, off uh, out tackles. Two subs waiting to come on for Chattanooga now. We've got Luke Ferreira and uh, Jaimez. Let's see who it is. Hang on. Nope, so it, Roddy Green, this guy's got the same haircut. I'm going to talk to those two about that. Roddy Green coming on <laughs> in a moment. Brett Jones, obviously well, because he's fighting through two defenders. <laughs> and wins the corner for Chattanooga. So hopefully we can get the subs on in a minute. Let's see who comes on. Who comes off. Run out of time soon. They've played... What, five, six minutes waiting for these substitutions? Here we go. All right, Ian Serro coming off. He's got an excellent game. And then Heine is coming on. Mr. Hernandez. Ian Serro with a good night. Yep, very good night indeed. Well, he had, had a Again. Work, yeah, he had a workhorse night. I mean, he was just... Uh, he does every, every game just yeah. about. He's just everywhere. Constantly in movement. So, so Brett Jones will be replaced by Roddy Green. Brett Jones walks off behind the goal so that Roddy can come on. They don't have to do a substitution at the halfway like they used to do in the old days. They can, one player can leave the field somewhere else and the other one can come on. So, fresh striker, fresh midfield. Here 
he comes, there's Roddy. Oh, taken down hard there. Boy, what a tough way to get introduced really to welcome, this contest. Welcome to the game. Boy, he has the ball on his... Taken out by Hanson, yeah. number 45. Referee. Well, that's not the first guy 45 Harold Hanson has taken out. No, indeed. Uh, uh, that'll draw the card, though. Well, it's wasting time, though, for Albion, because Chattanooga aren't in a rush on this. I know they'll add some time with the, at the end of the 90s, but still. <laughs> Hit Roddy pretty hard. I mean, Roddy's a big guy, so doesn't usually go down easy. There you see the trainer asking for just a moment. Yeah. You see that again. That was a pretty hard tackle. Watch this. Roddy's getting around him. He's like, whoa, doesn't even touch the ball. Hits him in the thigh. So. Close in free kick. Gray McGrath. Gray doing his magic. A bit time wasting too here for Chattanooga for keeping it in the corner, but <laughs> Yes. That's that's part of soccer. <laughs> Out for the throw to Chattanooga. Well it would certainly be a, one of a signature one of a few signature wins this year for Chattanooga. Yeah, I mean, this is really, you know, what we were saying at the start of the game. This gets us uh, a league playoff semi-final hosted here at Chat in Finley Stadium. So this is the, the third part of the trifecta we want to get. So, and of course, Albion not wanting to lose at all. Whoop. Foul there against McGrath. A lot of urgency now in the play. Not that there wasn't urgency all through the game. It's been pretty yeah. intense, actually. These guys have burnt a lot of calories tonight. Well, I'm with you. I do feel a, little, a, a tick more of a, as you said, urgency. I think that's the right word. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, the Albion wants to get into that spot where they are hosting instead of traveling. Well, exactly, yeah. Well, I would think that we would certainly have more than two additional minutes, which is the number of minutes we had yeah. from the yeah. first half. Probably four, I think. But yeah, for Albion, it's a travel thing because the only other team is, is Cal United on the West right. Coast. So they, you know, they're going to have to travel anyway. They can reduce that. That would help them. And here's Hanson. See how he attacks as well as how he defends. Gets the cross. There's the header. KG has that. Punches it down and controls it, takes it away and picks it up. <laughs> oh, an additional seven minutes. Wow, seven minutes, that's unusual. Is, uh, that's Lots of time then for goals. <laughs> that is. That, uh, that all of a sudden has swung in the favor, I think, of Albion. Yeah, yeah. Seven minutes of extra time, yeah. folks, though. So. Don't, uh, don't switch off. <laughs> lots, lots to come. You're thinking you can probably defend away two to four minutes, but... Seven's asking a lot. Yes, it <laughs> is. Especially at tired legs at the end of the game. Well, you pointed out Chattanooga has subbed less so far, and will they bring anybody else back uh, in for fresh like legs? I see somebody else warming up. For Chattanooga, but then they have plenty of subs for Albion too. They aren't using right now. Yeah, Ethan Cora, number twelve, is uh, stretching. Might be coming on. Let's see if uh, Ethan gets some playing time.
one player that added most of those additional minutes is Dixon, and he's he's been out there ever since. Right, he seems to be up and about yeah. again because he's, he's made a tough stuff, is Richard. He can't really. <laughs> is that when you feel? Do you feel at all any responsibility for that? <laughs> Me? No, yeah, no, no, no. Would he feel any? <laughs> oh, well, Richard. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Richard's a good guy. He yeah. knows he needs to stay and be the captain. Even if he's not playing as as much, or he's hanging back a bit, he still needs to. Yeah, his presence makes so much difference. We've seen that teams without Richard are effective, but not as effective. We found that's a great long throw, loose ball, cleared away. There's Richard clearing it. Yeah. Nagelstadt chasing it. Keeper comes out and heads it, but. He's out of his box. Take a shot. There it is. There it is. Oh, just misses. Oh, Taylor Gray with a long lob. The keeper way off his line, but that is the best look Gray has had tonight. <laughs> and he, I don't think you'll get a better looking one than that. If that had gone in, that would have been game set and match, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes. As they say in tennis. <laughs> wow. Interesting to see who uh, Ethan Core replaces when he comes on. If he does, we got, haven't got time for him to get on yet. There's no break in play. Albion again, lobbing it in the box, headed away. Grath clears it. Taylor Gray again. Tries to find Nagelstadt. Wins the throw in. And we are down to Here the Here we go. Yeah, down to the final four minutes now. Okay, so Mark is coming off for a breather. Ethan Corrin, number 12, coming on to play centre forward, which is uh, his natural position. Ethan's played uh, in Sweden and in Mexico. And uh, great to see him in the playing time. It's his first pro contract with us. No, he's played in Orlando City. Actually. He's played in Orlando City. I'm sure he's played he's not in Orlando today with the rain coming down there. So here he comes. See so yeah, fresh legs or a fresh striker can make a difference. This would be a good time for him to get a bit of glory. <laughs> <laughs> well, that goalie will come out another goalkeeper yeah. will come out another 35 yards He'll from. Keep on doing yeah. that. I mean, even like you and I can score a goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on at least a couple of chances. We'd have a go. <laughs> Hansen coming up, making that attack. He's got two on him. Can he? He's been good about getting the ball across. Wins the corner. Four minutes of added time played. Still three to go. Now the players can't see that because the clock is stopped at 90 minutes in the field. Here on the screen, you can see it at home. So the players aren't aware. Therefore, playing with great urgency. What a header that was. Hernandez gets rid of it. Try it again, and that one, whoa, good save from Gonzalez. <laughs> Touches it over the bar. That yeah. was a very dangerous shot. Very nice punch out. Yeah, another the corner. Another Chick-fil-A corner. It is not going to end easily here tonight. I think you're right. Well. Boy, Gonzalez. Even, he, uh, even the keeper roaches up now from Albion. Gonzalez almost getting crowded so out there. Good ch ch who can make a break. Keeper's up in the box. Oh, there's a, a tumble. Bit of a collision. Referee calling a foul there. I think in Chattanooga's favour. Taylor Gray a bit slow to get up, but I think he's okay. Each time you go down at this point in the game, you are tired and getting up is quite right. an effort. <laughs> it's, it's like, oh. So, all right, another substitution for Chattanooga coming up. We got two balls on the field to play Three here. Fresh legs. We got one that is near, or was in the goal for a moment, has been booted out in a way. Absolutely. So we got uh, Greg Stratton waiting to come on number three. So that'll be a fresh defender. And we've got less than a minute to play. Gray, I mean Hernandez, come on Hernandez, you got this, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> he wins a throw on the far side, chance of the uh, referee's attention, we can catch the attention, we'll get that, that substitution made. Greg Stratton about to come on, he is replacing 
Boy, his the Taylor Gray. The time it takes to enter him could just about end this match. Almost. Yeah, almost. Depending on how long it takes Taylor Gray to come off. Well, that's it. And yeah. So we got now yeah. fresh front three for Chattanooga. Green, Corrin, and Stratton up there. That's fresh legs. Not what you want to see when your defenders play 90 tough minutes. Here's Roddy Green. Keeps in play. Gets away from one man. Tries to get away from two. Keeps it in the corner. Seven minutes is up. We are waiting to see. Referee has got the same watch on that we've got. Another Chattanooga throw. Chattanooga keeping it in Albion's half. Past the past the seven minute mark. Why did I add it just a tick of time for that substitution? Oh, yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I think I'll have a little bit of yeah. that. A little, a little bit of gamemanship there and Oh yes. As you expect in any soccer match. I'm surprised it has gone almost a minute. That's though. it. But that's it. That's your game. Two one Chattanooga FC. In the end, coming out victorious at home with goals from Brett Jones and Marcus Nagelstadt, the answer from Perez in the ninth minute. But 2-1 uh, Chattanooga against Albion San Diego here at Finley Stadium. Thank you for watching us on 11 Sports tonight. What a game. Todd, what are your reaction to that game? <laughs> uh, you know, I think it, it, it held serve all night. It was physical. Uh, both teams were very fast tonight. And uh, we knew whoever was going to win. And in this case, Chattanooga did. It was going to be well earned. Yep. Those teams were very hard. It's a shame it has to be a winner, but it's Chattanooga this, this tonight. Chattanooga get the three points. That gets them. Unless I'm much mistaken, we get to host a league playoff semi-final here, as well as a quarter final bye from tonight's win. So that puts Chattanooga in the, uh, what do they call it over here, the catbird seat? Uh, right? uh, yes, they do. That's okay, one of them. That was our, yeah, and I'm learning American. <laughs> Look at that. So, yeah, puts Chattanooga in a great position. So uh, just where we want to be going into the playoffs, they will be at the end of October, uh, during the month. Well, during the month of October. Uh, so next Saturday we'll be here on October the first, bringing the friendly game with, uh, with Charlotte from MLS Next Pro, and then Chattanooga away on the fifteenth to Michigan Stars. But we will bring you all the details of the games for the playoffs. Stay tuned to your favourite social media channels, Chattanooga FC's on all of them, and you will find out the details and the dates. We'll bring you that game on 11 Sports. But for now, from me, Simon Neal and Todd Agney, um, great crew here in the booth tonight. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for Tate Robinson for joining us tonight, and we will say good night. Thanks for seeing us. We'll see you Saturday.